Hey guys, here we are at the Armstrong boat ramp. It's where I grew up, learned to sail, learned to swim, learned to fish, and made my first foil. Today we're looking at the A plus system. Okay, so we want to look at how your current foils fit on the new system and how the new foils fit on the existing system. So on the left over here, we have an HS1250 current foil on the new A plus system mast and fuse with the Flying V 200 tail. This one here I've already drilled out. We're gonna do that later. We'll show you how to use the drilling jig kit in a separate video. Today, how the foils relate. On this side, we've got the new HA1125 on the existing system, existing mass fuse, existing TTF with V2232 tail, simple. So we're taking off this 1250 that I've already pre-drilled. Okay, we're gonna put on a 1550 V1 undrilled as it currently exists. This is on the A plus system fuse. Goes on as per normal, right? This is on, you can use the two screws as per normal without drilling it. Or you can get the drill jig kit to add the barrel nuts and make your front foils compatible A plus system with the current fuse, with the new fuse. Right, let's go into putting the whole A plus system together because that's what you need. So here we are looking at the A plus system parts and putting it together. The biggest thing we've done is modified the fuselage. Still the same hex fitting, but we've added holes to accept extra screws and eight mil titanium barrel nuts. So with the front wing to fuse connection, it's the same two screw fittings in the bottom with an eight mil barrel nut that goes on the other side of the fuse current fuselages will fit this eight mil barrel nut. So you can make your front foils A plus system on the current fuse, or the new fuse obviously accepts it. The new fuse also have an extra screw in the master fuse connection with the eight mil barrel nut. So you have three screws for the master fuse connection, two screws for the front foil, the same as before, with the two eight mil barrel nuts, all the screws are 28 mil. On the back end, 20 mil screws times two. We've simplified, streamlined, and strengthened the tail connection so that your tail foil can just go straight on. Shimless, that's gonna be the right angle setting for most people. Otherwise, you can tune it with your polycarbonate pro shims at half degree increments. Two 20 mil screws, simple. So, let's go into putting the foil on the board. The first thing you always wanna do is set your T-nuts into your board. So right here we have a T-nut assembly ready, washer screw T-nut. It's easiest if you have this assembled with just a couple of turns into the thread and you drop it into the box with the washer on right angles, slide into position, do all four the same, mast. Put your mast on your board, grab your washers, slide them onto the slot, spin your washer. You can do all four. Now there is one note with the mast. So if you just come up here and have a look at the front of the mast here, there's an extra hole. You can take the screw out, rotate the washer 90 degrees, put your screw in here and you gain 20 mil extra travel fore and aft. But for now, we're just gonna slip that washer in there like that. Then once your mast's in, do these screws up. So now we're gonna put the fuselage into the mast. So start off, the fuse with the tail fitting facing up, because it's upside down right now. Get your fuse lined up, give it a nice firm tap at the front, that'll seat the fuselage in. Now you note we've got three screws now, so get your three screws, put them in the mast, one, two, three. Now it's important with these screws that you don't tighten them up one at a time, you get them all the threads taken up the whole way and you want the barrel nut taking up on this side before you do your tighten. You got the three 28 mil screws in their threads, the barrel nut in its thread, now you can tighten up your screws just like a car tire on your car, right? You do your final tighten when all the screws are in position. One, two, three, and then the barrel nut, the thread's already biting, now you're gonna wind this up, tighten it. That's the fuselage into the mast. 
So now you've got your HA 1125, brand new, ready to go on your A-plus system, same as, put it on the fuse, give it a firm tap from the front, it's going to line up your screw holes, on this side, the bottom side, two 28mm screws. Now, the one difference is, with the existing system, this front hole, you're going to have to use your current foils, you're going to have to use a 25mm screw. The new screws are 28, slightly longer to accommodate the barrel nut. Now that's fine on your new front foils. So the A-plus system is both the tw all 28 mil screws, mast and front foil to fuse. Old system, this front screw here, you're gonna need to use your 25. So get your screws done up so that they're all the way in but they're not tight. Same as with the mast. Then you wanna get the eight mil titanium barrel nut and put it in and the way we do that, you gotta put the board on its side. So we've got the board on its side, got your 8mm barrel nut, we're going to put it on the tool, we're going to put it in its hole, and we're going to wind that onto the screw. So now you've got all these, all these taken up, you can tighten up your screws, firm, and then the barrel nut last. All right, that's the front foil. Now you're onto the tail. So for the tail assembly, it's this basically the same as the original. No TTF because that's now built into the fuse. Two 20 mil screws go in. That's why we put it on the side because they don't fall off. Now you can run the shim if you want, the polycarbonate pro shims half or one degree or stack them or Get your tail wing, just put it straight on. So we're gonna take it up. Same as before, get both screws taken up in the holes so that the threads are all taken up and then wind it up. So that's it. You got your tail screws tight, your mask screws, your front foil screws. You are ready to roll. Let's go for a session. with removing these after you've had your session if you want to pull your mast off loosen it off a turn or two with your tool keep your tool in here though and lean this over and that'll pop this washer up so you can spin it out <laughs> 